Pascal Land remporte un nouveau titre dans son histoire et c'est le premier dans le match des champions après deux échecs consécutifs l'an dernier et en 2021. Cette fois c'est la bonne contre la Svelte. It's not maybe the most ideal time for the match de champion, but uh, we went into preparing the game like uh, another opportunity, another uh, friendly game to, to prepare the season. Maybe a little bit far to go for a friendly game, but it wasn't just a friendly game and it was important for us to, to go and try and get the win. Um, I like to listen to my music. I like to like uh, watch TV shows. Things that kind of keep me calm because I can get anxious a lot like before a game so like I try to find a way to like meditate or like before the game before every game I have to pray just to kind of like keep myself calm and you know prepare for the game um, so those are some things that I, I do just to mentally be ready for what's about to come. A lot of shooting situation and we will see two um, little five against zero because yesterday was great so I think we can make it a little uh, and after just see again the zone situation for us okay set play like I told you I don't um, expect high intensity when we make opposition more in a shooting situation that all right so we screen like always <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Bonjour Paris. Bonjour Paris. Un, deux, trois. Bonjour Paris. With the coaches, we, we prepared for their scheme. We knew that they were kind of coming in shorthanded. Um, some of their main players were out due to injury, but that happens during the season. Um, and I mentally wanted to prepare um, because I know you have to respect your opponent no matter who you play, regardless if their best players are there or not. Um, no one's ever going to just give you the game. So I mentally was preparing myself that, you know, I have to approach this game like I would any other game. Um, and just trying to stay focused on that, focus on our game plan and staying locked into what we wanted to do and the reason why we were there and that was to try to win the game. I think it's a good image for the LFB to have a game like that. You know, before it was really fun when we had the opening in Paris with all the teams and you played a game. And that was a fun experience. I understand why the LFB don't want to do it anymore. But I think as far as a media standpoint goes, it's good for the LFB to have some exposure, especially in Paris. We had quite a few people in the stands. It's easy for media to come and interview all of the teams because the head coaches and the players come. So yeah, a little bit long, long voyage and you know, maybe for some teams who aren't playing, the, if the captain has to go on the coach, it's a little frustrating. But I think for the LFB, it's, it's a good thing to have. Uh, I think that Basketland, it's good because it's been renewed, but there's always an identity that is transmitted. And the uh, coaches and the dirigeants, they live well. So I think that the new questions that are coming, they feel at ease. They can really bring what they were, who they were, with their energy. There's a lot of folly when we look at our team. But it's nice and there's a good life, what I can say, in relation to the team. The atmosphere at Basketland, we don't find it anywhere else, I have to say. It's quite exceptional. And for the moment, I haven't yet met the public at Las Velles or the people around. Donc je sais pas trop quoi dire, mais c'est vrai que deux années à Basketland, c'était incroyable. 
I had a chance to talk to Julie um, before the season and, um, you know, she kind of laid out like her vision and the idea that she had for the team, um, what she wanted for me as a player and for the team and the goals. And um, it was something that I felt like um, I wanted to be a part of. I felt like it could be a good opportunity, um, a challenge also. I knew it wouldn't be easy, but um, my whole career has kind of been based around like those type of stories and situations. And so I wanted to take a chance and be a part of something uh, that most people wouldn't take a chance on. I'm, I'm really excited to have her. I think uh, she's a leader on our team. She's someone who can impact the game easily, offensively and defensively for us. And she's smart and she's a competitor. She wants to win. And I don't think she cares if she scores. She cares if we score and the team scores more points than the other team. So then we win at the end of the game. But we're really, really excited to have Lexi on the team. And I think she will be a very, very big part of our success this year. Um, I, I think I have the ability to not only create for myself, but also create for my teammates um, to kind of pull everyone in. And I play with a lot of energy and passion. And I think like that is a strength in itself um, because I think it's something that my teammates can feed off of. And then um, I'm not a player that plays just on one side of the ball. Like I love to play defense too. I love to turn people over to get steals, to make high energy plays. So um, I think those are some of my strengths. see you ready to jump on the ball. I want to see you play this game like it's a, the, the more incredible game to the season. Because if we go with the spirit, we put all the chance in our side. So we don't care about everything, we just care about us. And tonight I want to see you take a pleasure and show the pleasure you take for the supporter who will look at you. That's the only goal for us tonight. I want to have more moments like that. I want to be in more games like that. I want to, you know, have the opportunity to sit on that stage, to put yourself in position um, to do what we did Friday. So um, I know that basketball, like I said, is a team that has been in those positions several times. So um, regardless of how young our team is, how new this uh, season is, I feel like we can continue to do those things and continue to set ourselves up to be uh, in those games, playing in front of everybody, and I think we deserve to be there. Any opportunity to win a trophy, no matter when in the season, is a good thing for, for the club, for the players, for the coaching staff. My mantra this season is like, never satisfied. You know, never satisfied, like I want more. Um, I want a cup, I want a championship, I want everything that there, there is to have, I want to get it all, so I'm never satisfied. So I know that 
this is just the beginning of the journey. Um, it's, a, it's a new era, if you will, here in Basketball, new team. So I'm still not satisfied. Like, I still want more. I'm still hungry for more. I want to win every game. I want to go on the road and, like, have huge upsets. So I know that that was just the start of many, but now I want more.